Hey everybody, it's me again. It's Geardo 5.57, your gear guru. I'm down here in my bunker, my mom's basement, and I, I wanted to show you guys what I got over here. This is uh, this here is the EMP proof room that I've got built. Now when that EMP happens, I'm going to be golden, that's for sure. It's awesome. But today I wanted to do for you a comparison review of ultra compact flashlights. Okay, I'm going to show the three, but I'm going to do review right now. Okay, so what we got is the at the top, we have the Surefire E1B. At the bottom, we've got the Streamlight Stylus Pro. And in the middle there is the Pelican L1. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the Surefire E1B. Okay, it's one inch by four inches. And it has a dual output LED. So it puts out 110 lumens. Or on the other setting, it's five lumens. Okay, it takes a 123A battery. And this thing costs about $160. Now, by far, this is the brightest one of all of them, okay? But it's also the most expensive. It's the most versatile and, and all that. It's really rugged. It's a really good flashlight. But it's so expensive, it's really hard to recommend this one. It's hard for me to recommend it for anybody but law enforcement or military. Somebody who really needs a good tactical flashlight, okay? But on my tactical scale, you guys remember that, right? Richard Simmons is way down here and... Chuck Norris is way, way up there. Well, this one, this is a Bruce Lee, okay? So it's really tactical, but maybe not as practical sometimes. That's all. But it's a good flashlight. So that brings me to the second one here, which is the Streamlight Stylus Pro. It's 0.6 inches by about 5.5 inches long, and it has a white LED that puts out 48 lumens, okay? And it takes two AAA batteries. And the price on this baby is it's $25 to $30, so it's definitely a reasonable price. This one is my, my pick for the best value, okay, by far. This is the best value. Now, this thing is a metal housing, so it's pretty rugged. You can't change the, the, uh, the bulb in this, but when it burns out, you can afford to buy a new one, I guess. It's pretty cheap, so it's not too bad. Now, this one is, is highly recommended to anybody, okay? You can have this in your nightstand, in your car in your bug out bag, you can have this thing anywhere. And it's pretty bright. So this one, I'm going to rate this one a Bruce Willis, okay? We're, we got this Bruce thing going, okay? So, so we're going to stick with that. Bruce Willis. Now that brings us to this bad boy. This little tiny bad boy, I guess I could say. This one's the L1 from Pelican. And it's the smallest by far. It's about three quarters of an inch by maybe two and a half inches long. It only puts out 12 lumens, so it's not very bright. Um, and it takes four LR44 batteries. The little, the little watch batteries, it takes four of them. And this thing costs $15, okay? So it's the cheapest of them. Now, I don't know if I recommend this necessarily, but for the price, it's hard not to. I mean, really. You could put this thing in your pocket and not even realize it's there. So there's no problem having these, and they're pretty cheap, and it's, it's pretty decent. So, there's no reason not to get it, I suppose. Now, I'm going to rate this one, since we're going with the Bruce theme, this one's going to be Bruce Campbell, okay? So, maybe not as tactical, but, you know, not too bad. So, it, it'll, it'll do in a pinch, that's for sure. So, anyway, there's my three flashlights. I'm going to throw a comparison now on the three brightnesses. Here we go. So, what we have is we have the Surefire is on the right-hand side there with the Streamlight in the middle, and the Pelican on the left. So, anyway, there's the three flashlights. Tell me what you think of, of, of them if you own one of these. They're pretty awesome, all of them. They really all have their own place. I really thought I was going to have one flashlight that was awesome and one that was crap and it was really sucky, but, but really they all have a purpose. So, be sure to subscribe. It's right up here. Let me know what you guys think. And until next time, stay on point.